welcome to our latest video and before we put this uh, great uh, table away which, um, which <laughs> I have to say I do like playing on uh, we've decided to go uh, um, 1600 years into the past or well perhaps 1400 years into the past so we're playing a to the strongest game um, on this table with my Picts and Romans um, you've seen these units many times before hopefully the Picts can be a bit more uh, fortunate that than they've been in previous battles uh, as they advance to try and seize uh, this watchtower from the Romanians, uh, Romanians, Romans uh, break out uh, from their highland home. Um, to challenge that we have some second century Roman forces, a small uh, division inverted commas here of two units of legionaries and two units of archers and then a second uh, division of uh, two more units of legionaries and two units of auxiliaries under a separate independent command. Uh, we've got some uh, light troops who are currently occupying uh, the watchtower. The Picts, uh, unknown to the Romans, do have some reinforcements. Uh, we have six units of Pictish light horse that can come on uh, from either flank of the table uh, as long as they have clear squares to deploy. So we're going to play the to, to the strongest rules uh, and as you can see we don't have a gridded table but I did think there was an opportunity here as we effectively have a two by two uh, grid for each of the terrain tiles so we're going to deem each one of these tiles is approximately three smaller squares across and sm three smaller squares deep I think I can just visualize that in my head so each square is a three by three matrix so overall the table will be uh, six squares deep uh, and 12 squares long. So uh, and we're also going to play this lengthways just to give the game a bit of a different flavour as we play the table from a different direction. All right, so uh, let's crack on with a game of To The Strongest. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Right, so the picks are going for an initiative move, uh, so we're not going for an initiative move, I'm uh, moving first. And we're going to try a complete brigade move with this uh, whole formation, um, all advancing forwards. Let's see uh, what we get. Uh, ten. Right, the whole brigade advances and they're able to do a march move as there are no enemies uh, within charge range. Uh, but that will be it, we won't be able to reactivate, although we could use our general to go for another card turn which might allow us further activation so I think we will indeed a six all right that gives us at least the possibility uh, of a further move let's do the first activation for all these forces. Okay, so we've done the march move forward and this unit uh, isn't going to march because uh, it won't be able to go through that difficult terrain so we'll do a separate activation just to move that one forward which indeed uh, is successful so there we go everything moved forward um, as you can see, the warbands have moved towards the tower, uh, oblivious yet to the advancing Romans uh, coming on from the other table edge, and our skirmishers have moved to the base of the rocks. Um, we will see whether we can activate any of those skirmishers. We'll start with the far right-hand unit. Uh, we pull a five. No, that's a failed activation. So that's it for this division. All right, we're going to um, start our... Uh, Pictish Light Horse. They're going to be coming on from the flank and they're going to come on from down there past the castle. So let's see if we can activate the Pictish Horse. We roll, uh, we pull a six. That is an activation. They can come on and potentially move uh, up to two squares. All right, so the Pictish Light Cavalry have moved on two squares and they've been able to move up uh, this slightly difficult terrain here as their lights. Uh, we're going to see if we can activate them again. We're going to see if we can throw uh, uh, attack by uh, uh, throwing javelins from this leading unit against those Roman skirmishers. And we roll a two, so that's it. That's the end of the Pictish, Pictish 
activations, how the Romans can do it. First thing we're going to do is try and activate our skirmishers that are part of the independent command in the castle. So they need a, uh, a difficult, well, they, they need a difficult activation to turn to their flank, but as they're lights, that's a normal activation. So they've succeeded. So they turn to their flank and face off against the advancing uh, light, uh, um, light cavalry. Um, as they're an independent unit, we are now going to activate the archers in the tower. See if they're going to open fire. They are going to open fire against the light infantry. They activate on a four. So they can fire. Well, let's go into shooting from the archers. So the bowman needs an eight uh, to hit the light cavalry. They miss with their, uh, their first shooting attack. All right. Um, are they going to go for another activation? They were activated on a four. So we will have another go. We activate on a five. So they are successful. And they'll try shooting again with a needing an eight. And they get an eight. All right, so we've now got a save on the Pictish Light Infant, on the Pictish Light Cavalry, or else one of those Light Cavalry units is destroyed. Yeah, shooting having caused a hit on the Light Cavalry, we'll need a seven plus to save, which we do. So that's great news for the Picts. I thought that was uh, an almost certain loss of our first unit. Uh, that'll be the end of activations. We can always try and activate on a 10 for our Roman archers. Uh, we will try. No, they fail. They get an 8. That's it. So my light archer units are fully activated and the units in the tower have expended all of their ammunition. That's actually, they have three units in those bow units. So there's still one unit of ammunition uh, left in the tower and we've still got our ballistas uh, to activate. All right, we'll now think about what we're going to do with this division. Um, I think we will also turn to face with our archers uh, against the threat of the uh, light cavalry coming in from the flank. So let's see if we can activate the archers. They would need a three, as it's a difficult activation. They manage that. They activate on a six. All right. More clearly into their relevant part of the square. They are active. All right, we'll now try... A further activation. We're going to move our next unit of archers forward and we're going to try and march move it so it'll try and move two turns forward. We activate with a two, which we can. So one, two. So it's now in the middle of this square. All right, uh, and they have activated. We will then move our unit of legionaries here and they will do a difficult activation to turn to the left. But legionaries uh, don't uh, don't suffer from difficult activations uh, in the open, so because of their train status, so they will simply need a two plus. They roll a three, they successfully activate, so they turn to their flank. Right, and then we will use this finite unit of legionaries and look to move it up parallel to the archers. They activate on a ten, so they can move forward to two squares. And two, so they do not nice move. All right, the little red dice are the number of shots each unit has, so I can remember that. All right, um, okay, so on a three and a two, we can do more activations. Um, we are going to try and move our archers forward. This will be a difficult activation because we've got to go over this rocky ground, but we're going to try and do a move of four or more uh, to move forward uh, two squares. We get the four, so they can go forward. One, two. Sorry, one square, because they're already in the middle of the, the hex, and they're activated on the four. All right, um, we're going to try and activate them again with that four, and we're going to try and turn to our flank, so that'll require a six, which we indeed get with a nine. We've been very successful in moving this unit forward, but it may be a bit exposed. All right, um, we'll move our commander forward with his free command move, one square, trying to keep everything in command range. Everything's in at least two squares, uh, so that's okay. We're gonna then move our legionaries. Where are we gonna move our legionaries to? Um, I think we'll move them forward one square diagonally. Again, that would be a difficult move normally, uh, I think. Uh, but as they're legionaries, they don't, so they need a four or more. They fail, 
that's it. That's the end of activations for this division. Uh, we move on to the final row. For our final reserve division, we've activated on five. We've given ourselves a march move, so we're going to move forward two squares. So one, two. All right, we'll move the rest of the column forward and think about further activations. We're not going to do any further activations this turn, so let's have a look and see where we have ended the turn. So uh, we've got Pictish Light Cavalry surging up on the left flank. We've turned our skirmishers uh, to face them, and we've also redeployed one of our unit of legionaries uh, and archers. We've let loose with a hail of shot from the top of our tower, but none of it has uh, halted the advance of the Pictish Light Cavalry. Our main force is entering the table and looking to swing across to face the picks who are advancing steadily towards their main objective of the tower. All right, that's the end of the turn. Let's do our next activation. And next turn. Right, the picks get to activate first. What are we going to do? All right, we are going to choose from this division to activate uh, the three skirmish screens. They are within two squares and they're light infantry, so they don't suffer any penalty. And we're going to move them forward one square. And nine. So they do do a group activation. And they are now at the base of the tower and in range of the tower. But no activation yet to shoot. And on a nine doesn't look like we'll go for another activation of that straight away. All right, we'll now activate this large wall band. It's going to go uh, through this gap in the rocks here, and it's going to try and go forward uh, one square. So that'll be a normal activation, a 10. So they can activate, uh, but that'll be, a diff uh, that'll be unlikely to activate again. Large wall band is going to uh, we're going to uh, move our commander forward with our free command move. So he's going to attach himself to this unit and then we are going to activate. We will need a uh, two to activate normally. We want to turn to our left, so that'll be a three because we're a large warband, we'll need a four. We roll an ace. Well, it's very fortunate I put my commander there, so we do get a re repull of the next card. We get a six, so they have successfully activated and they have pivoted to the left. Right, with the commander attached, but no rerolls. All right, we're going to try and activate this warband. It's going to try and do a march move uh, to uh, move into this, well, just a normal move to move into this next square. A four, they have activated. They can move into this next square. All right. Okay. We haven't activated this warband. We're going to try and turn them to the left. They will also need a four let's see what we do a three that's failed activation no rerolls and that's it for the pictish infantry this turn we uh, look to activate our pictish cavalry we are going to attack with our javelin men that'll be our first activation it's a nine they can attack and they need an eight to hit they miss and they go down to one unit of javelin ammunition all right, then this unit of light cavalry are going to move forward and look to move forward two squares. Um, let's see how far they go. They get a three. They can move forward two squares. One, two. And they're going to make that a joint move. We would have made that a joint move. So both those units of light cavalry have moved forward up onto this rocky bluff on a three. All right, we're now going to turn to the left. We need more than a three, we get a six. So we will now turn our light cavalry. These light cavalry are going to um, move, uh, move forward one diagonally. Um, yeah, move forward one diagonally. Let's see how they do. They get an eight, so they can move forward diagonally. Like cavalry can move across this difficult terrain. Fine. All right. And again, that was a group move for both units of cavalry. And they are. What are we going to do now? We're going to rotate. We're going to move our second unit of javelinmen through the first unit. A five. We do. 
So they are now in the front and we are then going to have a go at firing with them. They activate on an eight. They will need an eight to cause a casualty. A seven, nearly, but they fail. All right, so both of those arch units, javelin units have expended their javelins. All right, um, and we'll now have a go with these javelin men on the hill. They're gonna have a go at having a shot against the archers. They need more than a six to activate. A two, that's it. That's the end of the activation of the Pictish Cavalry. Right, so we're going to activate from the Watchtower again. So uh, one unit of bowmen are going to fire at the uh, light horse skirmishers that are underneath them. Uh, let's see how we do. We'll need a four to activate. So they are activated. And then we'll need an eight to hit. We get a ten. Now let's see uh, whether we can save. Our Pictish Cavalry need a 7 plus for us. See what we get with the Pictish Cavalry. We get an 8 again. Wow, they do well. So the Pictish Cavalry save. They've been lucky. That's two saves uh, in two turns. All right, then our Ballista are going to open fire against this large war band that's across the stream. Uh, let's see if they can activate. They activate on a 2. That is a successful activation. And they will need 8s to hit, but they can fire twice, which they will do. First shot, 8 is a hit. Second shot, five is a miss. So that's a hit against the warband. Let's see what their save is. Wow, they pull a 10. They have saved as well. So all the, uh, all the shooting from this watchtower is not proving too effective. All right, so that's the watchtower fully fired. We will now fire our bowmen uh, in the centre here. They are going to fire against the light cavalry to their front. Let's see if they activate. They pull an ace. That's a failed activation, and that's it for the uh, light infantry that are securing the tower. Uh, let's move on to the next Roman unit. What we're going to do, this unit of legionaries is going to seek to activate. This will be uh, seeking to charge diagonally into the flank of this light cavalry. So that'll be a two normally, three because it's a diagonal charge, four because they're charging up difficult terrain, uh, but down to three because they are legionaries and trained. They pull a seven, they can activate, they can move. All right. So first thing we do is we'll see if we can evade. Being mounted, uh, we should be able to evade from this fairly easily. Unfortunately for Pictish Cavalry, evading in rough terrain, which they are in, uh, requires a seven. So let's see if the Picts evade. They do successfully, they pull a nine, they can pull back. Second unit uh, will now seek to evade as well. Another nine, great, great uh, maneuvering from the picks. They pull back and evade the Roman charge. I'm just gonna do a free command move into uh, one square diagonally this way. That means that all the units of his formations are still in command. Right, next he's gonna try and maneuver these legionaries. He's gonna get them to turn to their flank. That would normally be a difficult uh, manoeuvre, but because they're legionaries, they only need a three, and he's not with them. So they fail, and it's the end of manoeuvres for this division. That's a bit of a tragedy for the Romans. All right. Okay, then we've now got an opportunity to move this final Roman division, although they are a bit boxed in. All right, firstly, we'll try a unit uh, move uh, with these legionaries. They have their general with them. They will try a difficult manoeuvre to turn to their flank which they do as a group of so Both units have turned to their flank. All right, and they have their commander in the square. They are gonna then move forward. Um, and that's on a 10. We will repull that on a commander because that'll give us a chance for a second go. No, a nine. No active, more activations, I don't think, for these legionaries. And we're gonna turn these auxiliaries too. So again, another group move. They will need a three. They pull a two. Not a great turn of activations for the Romans. That's it. A recap of where we are at the end of the turn. So we've got a bunch of Pictish light cavalry harassing the Romans on this flank, uh, but our uh, skirmishers are still holding up despite uh, um, some javelin fire. And we've moved our archers and one unit of legionaries in support, and they have driven off some of that Pictish cavalry, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of firing at them next turn. Otherwise, the mass of Roman infantry down here has been thrown into confusion and has struggled to activate because uh, 
uh, of the threats coming from different flanks. Um, our, our archers remain somewhat exposed over on this flank. Whereas for the picks, the skirmishers are now in range of the tower to open fire against that. Cavalry in a position to move forward and we need to pivot our main war bands so they can start driving against the Romans down here. All right, let's see what we do as we move over to the Pictish moves and activation. Start first uh, with this warband here that's just crossed the river. It's going to go for a diagonal move. Uh, we are going to uh, look to move this one first. So we will do our free command move into that square. That'll give us a reroll. It's normally a two, a three because it's a diagonal move and a four because we are a large warband. We pull an ace, we fail. Uh, sorry, this is the wrong card pack. That's the Romans. All right, we'll put those away and shuffle. We'll come back. Right, blue, blue cards for the picks. Got to be uh, got to be appropriate rather than red for the Romans. Okay, so again, we need a four. We pull a ten. That will be an activation. Yeah, I think we will go with that, but we're not going to move our general. All right, so they move forward diagonally one square. They are showing their flank to those Roman archers. All right, we're now gonna try and activate this warband, which will move one square forward. That will need a two. They pull an ace. That's a tragedy for the picks this time. That means that's the end of the turn for this Pictish division. All right, okay, we'll now move over to the light cavalry. What are we gonna do with our light cavalry? I think we're gonna do plenty of firing. So uh, let's start by activating our javelin and they are gonna have a shot. They pull an ace. That also is a failure and that's the whole division and all the picks um, failing to activate this turn as this general is actually in this square here with that unit rather than that one on the left who were firing. All right, that's it for the picks and over to the Romans for this turn. with these archers they're gonna um, try and shoot into the flank of these uh, Pictish infantry they do they activate and then they're gonna get two shots needing eights no hits and they're down to four units of ammo all right uh, we're gonna use this unit of uh, legionaries um, they will just have a straightforward activation. They're going to turn to their flank. Being legionaries, they're allowed to do a difficult move with no penalty. So they managed that. Activated on a four. Then we're going to march forward one square on a six. So they are now up to the ford. All right, what else should we do for this division? Um, We should have activated my light infantry first from the other division because we can't use our archers. Uh, I think those two units will stay where they are and not move and we'll leave our commander where he is. Yeah, I think we'll leave our commander where he is, but we might charge a flank charge with our auxiliary archers into the flank of that warband. It's just too an attractive target. They roll a six, a flank charge goes in. All right, let's come back and do these attacks. So not being disordered, we need sixes to hit. We roll a six and an eight. So we get two hits because this is a flank charge. So this will be two lots of saves by the picked. All right, let's see what they pull. A three, that's a fail save, and a nine. So they take their first disorder. Given that we activated on a six and we still got initiative in this division, we're going to try and activate again a five. No, that's it. That's the end of the turn uh, for this division. All right, on to the light infantry for the Romans. So these light infantry are going to try and pull back, which they do.
and then our ballista on the hill is going to fire another two shots uh, of ammunition uh, against that warband. Um, let's see if it activates. It needs a two, and then two shots needing eight, a nine, and a seven, and a two. So that is uh, no casualties, and our ballista is down to two units of ammo left. And our archers were down to none. All right, that's it for my light units. And then we will go with this final division of Roman infantry, which is just milling about here on the baseline. Um, we are going to uh, advance uh, these two units of legionnaires. Um, hmm. I think we might turn them again and try and move them through this gap and round here. We're going to do that. All right, let's turn them. That'll need a three plus. We do the turn, but we're going to use the general to go for a lower card. So we go for a six, and then we're going to try and move them again. An ace. That fails, but we do get our turn completed. Activate these Pictish units uh, first. So we are going to... Um, we are going to move our general back so he joins this unit and we are going to activate these and we're going to try and send them forward um, two squares they get a nine they're going to go for a re-pull if they've got the general with them a four so they're activated and uh, i think they can march move so they'll move forward two squares activate this unit here it needs a four to activate a six it does and it pivots to its left. And activation on a four, it's got a six. And this unit down here, we will activate to move forward to the base of the tower, which it does. Forward on an eight. All right. We are now going to try and activate some of these skirmishers to shoot at the garrison in the tower. A four, that is active. We need eights to hit. Five and a six. No, nothing. We're going to try and activate the next unit of skirmishers. We get an eight, which is what they need to activate. And then an eight to hit. A seven and an ace. No, so they're down to one unit of ammo. They're down to one unit of ammo. We won't have to use up our third unit yet. We will then look to activate... This unit has activated on a four to advance another square, a seven. So we can advance it into this square here on the street, which they do. All right. Um, trying to prevent us moving out of command range, we will look to activate this unit. On a six. No, that's a failed activation. That's it for this Pictish division. All right, so we are going to first activate a group move to move this Pictish horse regiment forward on a two. They do. One, two. We are then going to seek to charge diagonally this unit of uh, Romans in the flank with our light horse down here. A seven, we do. All right, so I'm just, yeah, we will uh, do the charge. So uh, I'll just check what we need to hit. So uh, we need sixes to hit and we get two attacks because we're attacking in the flank, but both miss. So they were activated on a seven. All right, we're going to move this unit forward one square and we're going to shoot at the Romans. Move up. And there is a move and shoot order for light cavalry. So on a five. Well, there we go. We have activated. So we will now shoot. Uh, one dice needing an eight and again no effect and we miss 
Then we're going to try and activate this cavalry unit. We could have activated a move and shoot order as well, but we forgot. So on a four, they activate. They'll need an eight to hit. They do. They cause one casualty against the uh, uh, Roman archers. Let's do a Roman save. A three. There we go. Uh, that is a failed save. And those archers take their first disorder. Activated on a four. We're going to try and activate again. We're going to rotate units and fire an ace. So we fail. That's the end of activation for the picks this turn. But a slightly better turn. We've at least caused one disorder. Given we have an open flank down here, this Roman legion is going to try and activate first with its commander. It rolls an eight. We're going to try and activate again. We do. We roll a five. We will move forward two squares as we're out of combat range, march range. Forward. Uh, with a five, we're now going to try and move forward one square and advance diagonally with our first unit of uh, legionaries, which we do. We move into this square. Okay, and they're activated on a seven. Right, the next unit of Legion is, is going to try and move forward one square as well. They need to activate on more than a five. They get an ace, that's the end of their movement. We're going to start on this left flank. The uh, Romans here are in command range. They're going to try and attack the uh, light cavalry. They are not in difficult terrain here, um, so they need a three to activate, which they do. And then the picks will try and evade. They can evade on a three plus. They roll an ace. They don't evade. Um, they will go into combat. All right. So let's see if uh, the Romans hit. Uh, they will be hitting on a six. They do hit. The light cavalry need to save on a seven. My gosh, the light cavalry save. And they are remaining in combat. Um, I activated that on a nine so i don't know that we're going to activate again with that unit all right we will uh, try and strike with our disordered archers against the light cavalry uh, let's see if we can activate them we can on a four they will need an eight to hit they miss uh, the light cavalry should have tried to evade actually but uh, we didn't so we'll just leave that and then this unit of legionaries. What are we going to do with this unit of legionaries? Uh, this is the last of that division. It will uh, try and charge. Uh, no, it'll advance across the river, then pivot is the aim. So we're going to do a free command move. Move the commander into this square. We're going to try and move the legionaries, which we do on a five. Now they've got the commander with them, they're going to try and pivot to their left. They need more than a five, they get an eight. So they have pivoted to their left. And then we'll give it a go, we might as well try and attack. And we go to, no, no more activations. That's it for the Romans this turn. As I said, a massive blunder here for uh, the Romans. We forgot to attack with our archer in the, in the flank and we exhausted our activations. But these things happen. Well spotted Charlie, <laughs> useless dad. All right, uh, next turn for the picks. What can they do to try and turn the combat their way? First thing, we're going to try and pivot this unit so it's not uh, being faced in the flank by the legionaries. We get a three. They aren't able to execute that order, and that's a fail, and the whole Pictish division therefore failed. I didn't want to move the commander because it would take that unit out of command range. That was a bit short-sighted. Um, and the Pictish infantry... Don't go anywhere this turn. That was a bad judgment. Right, over here, we will do some uh, shooting and then potentially some more combat by our javelin armed cavalry. Right, we're going to rotate this unit of light cavalry through the rear of the second rank. Three, they do that successfully. And then the second unit will seek to activate and throw its javelins at the disordered. Uh, um, uh, archers, which it does, it'll need an eight to hit, it misses. All right. Then our javelin men here will fire at the legionaries. They need a two to activate, which they do, and then they'll need an eight to hit, which they do. Can the Romans save? On a four, no. 
So that's the first disorder on this unit of Roman legionaries. All right. They activated on eight there, so uh, uh, not much opportunity for those ones to go any further forward. We're going to now pivot this light cavalry and try and advance them through the woods. So this is the last unit of light cavalry. They activate on a nine, so they pivot, but they probably won't go again. Um, so they're activated on a nine. I'll pivot them in a second. And then finally, I'll try and charge the bowmen uh, with this unit of Pictish Lysols, or who are on an activation of a seven. A nine. They do activate and uh, they should be hitting on sixes. They hit on a 10. All right, let's see what the Roman throw is. They roll a nine, they do pass. So the Roman line, although disordered, still holds. That's the end of the Pictish turn. So first we're activating with this division, uh, this Roman division. Uh, we are going to uh, I think we're going to move our commander with a free command move back into this square and we will activate with these first, try and move them forward. We activate on a two, so these guys on a march move form up beside their colleagues and this reserves move up with them as part of that group activation. Alright, so they're activated on a two. All right, so we will then try and um, do a 90 degree turn. We've still got a command reroll on a six. We do. Okay, and we still have our command reroll on this unit. Then we are going to do an attack with this division here. This hasn't attacked yet on a 10. They do activate two attacks because it's a flank attack on a six. And we are going to throw our pylum, so we actually get three shots. We get two, eight, an eight, a ten, and a three. So the three does nothing. Remind ourselves that the activation is actually on a ten, but we have got two hits for the warband save. I'll just check the Pictish warband. Save. Warband saves on a seven plus. Let's see what we get. Get an eight. They save one and a two. So first disorder on that Pictish warband that we have activated on a ten. All right, uh, next activation, um, we're going to try and activate this division to do a charge. It'll be a diagonal charge, but because they're legionaries, they don't take a difficult test. They get an eight, they have charged, and they go into the front of the Picts with their general. They will also use their pylum, so uh, because it's from the front, they will only get two attacks. Let's see how they do. Remember they've activated on an eight. They get a six, which is a hit, and an ace. So that's a miss. And saving on a seven plus, they fail. The picks fail. So that's the second disorder on this Pictish warband. One more disorder, and it will be destroyed. We might as well uh, go for a third activation. We've got a reroll, and we get a nine. Wow, tremendous. And um, that's going well. So again, hitting on a six, an ace, and a ten. So that's a hit on this warband. If they fail, which they do, the warband is destroyed and that Pictus unit disappears from the table. Victory. These legionaries are going to try and turn a two. Uh, they can manage that as their drill, and then they're going to try and attack these uh, uh, skirmishers in the flank. A six. They do. The skirmishers will try and evade. A nine. They do evade, and they evade away. On the far left flank for the Romans, it's looking far less healthy over here. Um, So uh, what are we going to do? We will try and attack uh, with our legionaries. They haven't used their pylum yet, so they will use their pylum attacks, but they need eight to hit uh, against the 
light cavalry that they're facing. So let's see if they activate. They do. Let's see if the Picts evade. On a four, they don't evade. Oh no, three, they, they evade on a three plus actually. So they evade back one square. And then uh, the Romans get to uh, attack the second unit. Uh, they also then, uh, we need to activate, which we do. And they need to evade on a six plus. They evade as well. So both units of Pictish cavalry have evaded. Right, and now the Romans on a seven will try and rally. One, two, they are out of command range and they fail to rally. So uh, nothing for them. Then our archers will melee against this Pictish light cavalry. We activate on a four. Uh, no, actually we failed the activation because we failed the rally test on that Roman unit. So that's it for the Romans. That's the end of their turn, but a pretty successful one. All right, well, let's see where the picks are at now and uh, check victory points and then move on with the pick dish turn if appropriate. Just checked with the picks and they are quite close to breaking, but not yet there. So uh, six casualties and they need to get to 21, which is seven casualties for the Romans. So one more unit goes uh, and the picks are gone. So far, no Roman casualties. Uh, the loss of those two large war bands is pretty, pretty damaging. All right, first we're gonna activate these light cavalry. They activate on a six. Uh, they will then throw their javelins. They need an eight to hit. They miss, so they're activated on a six. All right, we're then gonna move these forward diagonally to throw their javelins. They activate on a six, so they've moved forward. Both of those have two units of ammo. So we'll fire the front one. Hitting on an eight, no, a six and an eight. That's one casualty against the Romans. This could be the first low Roman loss of the game. Let's see what happens as they try and do their save. So uh, let's see what we need. This is a uh, six or more for a save, a 10. Yep, the Romans make their save. All right, no success so far for the pigs. Let's keep going with their cavalry. Right, so activating these guys on a two, we're gonna move this unit uh, back. On a four, they're still active, and they're gonna move back two squares. One, two. This creates a large enough gap for our other Pictish unit to move in. So we're gonna move the second Pictish unit in on a seven, then move forward and throw javelins. All right, let's uh, see if they hit. They need an eight to hit. They don't, they miss. All right, so the front unit on the right-hand side still has a unit of javelins left. Let's see if it activates on more than a six. No, it doesn't, it rolls a 10. That's the end of the turn. And the Pictish cavalry nearly break one of these Roman units, but don't be desperate for the picks down here. We definitely need to reform our units. So we're gonna do a free move for our general. He's gonna go back two squares. And he's going to activate this unit on a six. They activate and they are going to go forward one square. All right. And then uh, we have got this unit, which is in one, two. Yeah, it is in range. So it's going to do a difficult maneuver to turn to its flank. It manages it. move to their flank. What are we going to do with our skirmishers? We are going to turn our skirmishers to their flank. They get a seven. They can turn to their flank. And then we are going to activate our skirmishers. No, we're going to activate this warband again. It is going to try and move forward and charge diagonally. It fails. That's the end of the Pictish infantry turn. All right, let's see if the Romans can push on to victory. 
the Picts are struggling to redeploy from their attack against the tower. All right, so first thing we're going to do is going to activate our archers, trying to cause this elusive one break. They do activate. They need eights to hit, but have two shots. We roll a three and a nine. They do get a hit. Can the Pictish skirmishers survive? They roll a two. They fail. That unit breaks. We've hit seven break points for the Picts and the Pictish army collapses. We will just, however, finish this turn. We are going to uh, activate this Roman unit and here to move forward one square, which it does on a seven. And we're going to activate this further unit to move it forward. It does on a three. Should have done them the other way around. We are then going to try and rotate this unit of Auxiliaries on a seven, and we do. Then we are going to attack the warband on a three with an eight, which we do two hits of a six or more. A ace and a five, so no hits from our legionary unit. Activated on an eight, our archers down here are gonna our archer's going to activate. Our leader unit is going to move forward one square, which it does into this square on a five. And then it is going to try and charge those. No, we're going to try and shoot at the skirmishers. We roll an eight, which is an activation. We need eights to hit. We don't hit. All right. We are now going to try and activate this leader unit to turn it to the flank. We fail. Uh, although we do have a general, so we can have a re-roll. We fail again. All right, that's the end of activation for the Romans this turn on this right, We're disordered. This unit can only fire one shot. It does activate. It needs eights. It fails. And then our Roman infantry are going to attack. Okay, so we're doing it with Pictish cards. We'll leave those dice on it. Use the Roman ones for the legionaries, though. They activate on an eight. Uh, let's see, let's see if we, uh, then we'll try and evade with the Picts. We fail to evade. Ah, the Romans hit on a nine and the Picts fail to save. Another Pictish unit collapses. Uh, it really is the end of the day for the Picts. The skirmishers down here are now going to try and activate. No, they're not, they're part of a separate unit. Um... So I've activated the Romans on a nine and the archers on an eight. So, sorry, the, the legionaries on an eight and the archers on a nine. We will try and activate the legionaries again. We fail. All right, that's the end of the legionaries activations. Then finally, we have the ballista, which we'll actually have a go at the light cavalry, see if we can break another unit. Right, let's see if it activates. It activates on a nine, it gets two shots. Needing eights fails, and then the light infantry archer unit, which I never thought would survive, but has. We'll try and activate. It fails on an ace. That's it. That's the end of the Roman turn. And let's do a recap of where we are. But the Roman army are victorious. So we're over on this flank. We've got the strong Roman right-hand force, and this half division of this unit of legionaries, and this unit of legionaries, these U2 units of auxiliaries have taken no damage and we'll move up to confront this Pictish battalion uh, and potentially try and outflank it. Over here, the right flank uh, of the second Roman division has pushed back uh, all of the skirmishers. It does potentially have a warband to face it, but it's gonna take some time to get close. Over here, the Romans took the most casualties. Both of these units are disordered, um, but none are broken and we have broken uh, one of these units of light cavalry, so the Pictish Light Cavalry having pretty much extended, expended all their javelins. I think we had 10 javelin shots and we've got only three left. So the Picts uh, will decide this is not gonna be their day and ride off into the distance and the Romans have relieved their fortress on the hill. All right, hope you've enjoyed this short game. See you all again next time.